when it comes to Peloton, there are a lot of people who picture it as uh, an elite product. They have a picture in their head and they kind of make assumptions. I mean, we all do this about just about everything, right? But you hear, you hear a word and you kind of like have a reaction to it. And I would just say that if you were in the, um, if you were in the marketplace for some kind of workout, don't, don't sleep on Peloton, try it out. They have an app that you can try for $12. It's like $12.99 a month. Even if you don't buy any equipment, you can try it out. And um, you might be surprised because Personally, uh, I have never seen the level of content consistently that I have at Peloton. I really do believe they have the best instructors in the world, and you're going to get a fabulous workout, um, regardless of whether you are doing spin, running, you know, the rowing, eventually, uh, strength training, you're still going to get a really good workout. So I definitely think don't just assume it's not for you. I think you should try it out. Okay. So you brought up a good point. I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad I asked you that question. <laughs> you brought up the app. So if you don't have a bike, let's say you have some other bike model, you can use the app and take classes. Absolutely. So let's say uh, you had some other bike at home, but you had an iPad, you could use your iPad for the Peloton app and you could put it on your bike and you could still follow along with the classes. Now, the metrics are built into the Peloton bikes. They won't be built in in quite the same way. It'll look a little bit different for you, but you'd still be able to join in all the instructor cues and still follow along and get an excellent workout and really enjoy it. Um, And you can do that with all of the classes. I don't know if I said yoga earlier, but they have yoga too. And um, so you can If you have an Apple watch, it will also connect with any of those workouts, whether it's on the app or it's on the bike or it's on the treadmill and uh, you can take any of those classes. So um, it's a lot of fun. Did I mention also lane break is on the bike? They have a a game that's on the bike. And so (laughs) tell me about that. (laughs) Okay. So it's one of my favorite things to do. Actually, Uh, you can take a class on the bike and it's like, it looks like a game where they have all these lanes across there and it's playing to music and it will tell you like increase, it'll show you like your target is over here on the fourth lane and you have to quickly increase your resistance knob to go over to the fourth lane. And then you have to be pedaling at a certain uh, cadence to get points for it. And it like your, your goal is to try to get a hundred percent on this game, but all it is is music and this atmosphere in front of you. And it's, it's really It's a very different feel from a spin class, but I love the gamified aspect of it. And it settles my mind and pushes me in a completely different way. I find that I almost always go harder in that class than I do in a regular class with an instructor, which blows my mind. I think there's something really magical happening in that gamified aspect of it. Uh, But it's, they add new songs, new music all the time. Peloton has a DJ who's famous within the DJ world or within the Peloton world called DJ John Michael. And he remixes famous songs all the time. And so um, there are always new classes dropping, you know, Fleetwood Mac, it'll be a whole 30 minute class or Lizzo, a whole 30 minute class. And, and uh, I love those because you just get your favorite tunes and your bike and you're in the zone and it's fabulous. So much fun. Okay. I love that. So you can, if you're not ready to make the financial commitment and get the bike or the treadmill, you can get the app and have the same experience. I love that yoga, Pilates, (laughs) treadmill, (laughs) bike. That's, I love that. It's all inclusive. It really and truly is. Um, So tell us about the financial commitment. Now I'm like you, I'm big in health and fitness. So I like, I will invest (laughs) You know, um, I, I get some it. people, you know, some people get hesitant about making major purchases, but I look at it like it's, it's for your health for God's sake, you know? So tell, well, tell yeah, them a little bit. Absolutely. Happy to. And, and I think it's also important to remember that whenever you're comparing these costs to kind of think about how much you would pay to go to a gym. So for example, um, it's okay. So if you buy the bike, it's like, I think it's, they have a bike plus, so it's the it has a few extras that come with it um, versus the regular bike, and I believe it's a twenty two hundred versus um, eighteen hundred. I think are the the current prices. Um, and then for the treadmill, right now the tread plus is not on the market at all because of the recall. So you only have the one tread, and that is around twenty two hundred as well. So um, each each piece of equipment we're talking two thousand dollars, and then. Uh, There is, if you have the equipment and you want to be able to use it to get on the leaderboard and things like that, there is a $44 charge per month. But 
if you were to take all of that up and add it up and then take how many classes you take and divide that, how many times you're using it compared to going to take a spin class at a boutique fitness. I mean, it's, it is apples and oranges, how much cheaper it is. Um, 